Hey, what's up guys? Um, what we're gonna do today is look at another Mavit product. Uh, again, a huge fan of his products only because he's got good communication with us. I know there's some other manufacturers that make some similar products, um, but he communicates and asks us what do we like. Uh, he will give us different models and different styles to choose from before they go into manufacturing. Uh, something that I ordered a while back was the amber color of these front grill lights for my Badlands. And what I wanted was a more of a smoke style that still gives off an amber light. So what we're gonna do today is look at how to install these, what they look like, um, the before and afters. I'll show you some pictures with this that are already installed. I'm gonna swap out to the, the um, smoke style. If you have a bull bar or anything up here, some may have uh, winch, winch plates, things like that. To get the grill off, for me, it's gonna be easier to go ahead and remove this. So I'm gonna go ahead and take off this bar. Okay, to get the grill off, we have to remove this plastic cover first. Okay, there are screws located down here that we're gonna to need to get to. So to get this off, you're gonna take a flathead screwdriver and on each of these, you're gonna insert it in the side and we're gonna pop up this, which then allows us to pull this out. Okay, so I've popped this one out, this one, this one, this one, this one, one here, one here, one here, one here. Then you're gonna take this and move that out of the way. Now, you may not have the, the lift already or the um, struts holding yours up, so that's probably gonna be holding up your, your hood. Now, so that I don't lose these, I'm gonna go ahead and pull all of these little pieces out. If that comes out, it's not a problem. I'm just gonna push that back in there. Then what we're gonna do is carefully lift this up and we're gonna pull out this black piece. So you're gonna to wanna to disconnect these. This is gonna be for your camera and for the washer fluid that goes down to clean that camera. Um, I'll show you how to disconnect those. Okay, to disconnect this, we've got a tab we're gonna press in right here. So I'm gonna press that down and pull this piece out. And then I'm gonna squeeze right here and pull these apart. And I'll show you what that looks like. And right here, all I'm gonna do is squeeze and pull that apart. Okay, so now we're gonna remove the four bolts. Don't can get confused with these, these four. Those are the ones I removed first by accident. You actually are gonna remove these four. There, 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 and there. So in the front, not these back ones. Okay, we got those screws out. Now we're just gonna pull from the edge and it feels like you're gonna break it, I'm gonna be honest, but you just need to get in on one side and it pops loose. And then slowly pull this off. Okay, we have a couple screws that we're gonna need to remove. Uh, we've got one here, one here, one here, there. There's another one here, there. And then two black ones right there. Okay, now what we can do is pull this plastic piece off of the grill and we'll just set this aside. Okay, so this is the wiring harness. This is gonna go to your uh, negative terminal of your battery. This will plug, now, a couple ways of doing it. This will plug into a fuse. If you want it to turn on and off when you turn the car off, you can do it this way. If you wanna run it to auxiliary switches, which is what I did, you can unplug this from here and run this positive wire to one of your auxiliary wires coming 
right at the firewall uh, and into the uh, bay of the engine, so or engine bay. So what we can do is I'll show you both, and then you're going to find what space you want on the grill. So for me, I went on the top row, and I'm going to do two over, and then one in the middle, and then I'm going to put from two over here. So I'll have three up at the top, and then these are going to plug right into this harness. And I'll flip this over and show you how to wire it. I want you to pay attention to these because they do fit based on where they're at on the grill. Um, this one, it says left, uh, I'm sorry, right. So this is going to be on the right side as the car is driving. So passenger side here. This one is says middle. You can see that it says middle. It's obviously going to go in the middle. And then this one right here is the left. So it's going to go over here on the driver's side. For the one that says right, I'm going to go on this side and I'm going to go over two. So one, two. On the third one, I'm just going to feed it through the front and you'll feel it snap right into place. Okay. Now, again, the one that says left, I'm going to go over one, two, three, feed it through snaps right into place okay and then we'll do the same one for the middle okay now what we need to do is feed this through each of these has a little bit of space underneath them that'll allow you to feed this all the way down make sure that you've got your positive and your negative on the right or over here at the end which would be our driver's side so that the wires are long enough so I'm just going to take this and feed it all the way down. Once that's fed all the way along here, you'll just go ahead and connect these lights. And then I'll go out and show you how to connect this. Okay, now these wires, I've already got my harness wired in, but you're going to run this black one right here to this negative battery terminal. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to run it right here into this fuse box. I'm going to find one that's a 10 amp. And you'll see on here there's a 10. So you're going to find a 10 amp in here. You can pull that fuse out and plug this in. The other option that you can do is disconnect this and take this red wire and run it back here. And I've got a couple things plugged into mine, but you can find one of your auxiliary switches put a quick connect on there and connect it. If you want to know how to do that, I've got that in another video and I'll put a link below. All right, so here's mine wired in. Just got it all the way fed under here to each light, plugged in. It gives you some zip ties. You can zip tie it a little bit to keep them in place. So now we're going to take our grill and we're going to reattach. I'm going to keep this wire running up through here Now, to do this, we're gonna line up these pins. So you've got these little plastic pieces sticking out. You wanna find where they line up and plug it right back in. Okay, now we're gonna take this piece, go over to the grill. We wanna lay this back on so that all the little holes line up. Make sure your camera, camera assembly, if you have it, goes in there. And then you'll notice everything just kind of falls into place. Now, if you have to make some adjustments because of these below there, just kind of move things around until it's snug. Now, remember that the black ones go at the top up here. I don't recommend doing this over the engine because if I drop one of these, it's going to be a pain to find. You can do this on a table. Mine's just already wired in. You'll be wiring yours um, probably after we put the grill on. Okay, now that we've got this piece on, we're going to flip this around. You can use these points, just line them up. They're going to go in these little holes, and then these clips, these little tabs, are going to snap in on the bottom, and these on the sides. Now, be mindful of your wire. Um, I'm going to kind of feed mine up through the top. I don't want it coming through where the light's at, 
Uh, I want it up more toward the top. And that's it. Everything just simply snaps back on. Um, we made sure everything is nice and tight. And now what we're going to do is put uh, the four screws back in these to make sure this is held on tight. Do not forget to plug these in. So I'm going to take the black one, simply press it together. Then I'm going to take the brown one, rotate around till you see this little tab at the top. And we're just going to press that in and that snaps right into place. There is a little clip over here. Just make sure that clips to the hose and you're good. Next thing we're going to do is put this back on. So again, watch your wire on this side. I'm going to run mine underneath it. You've got to lift up right here on the intake, the air intake, slide this under, and then it'll drop into place. So again, we're just going to take these, we're going to drop these back into the holes and press those down. Now, if you are not going to auxiliary and you want to use this, Open up this fuse panel, and the recommend, recommended fuse was over here. You see this 10? Let me come around. This 10 right here, what you can simply do is pull that out and plug this one in its place. That will give you power, and then this will attach over here to your battery terminal. Okay, That should come on when you turn the car on. But here are what the black ones look like, or the smoke style installed. They look good, they blend in. I've got to put my full bar back on. Uh, what I'll do is some video tonight and show you what they look like at night. There are the smoked Hey guys, so quick follow up. I've had these on my Bronco now for quite a few months. Um, and I absolutely love them. I get a lot of compliments on them. So if you guys want to see more videos, please like, subscribe, and I'll be happy to put um, some other products up. Thanks so much.